in this video we'll be seeing how to manage staging for your laravel application you can see that i have already deployed a laravel application to cloudways if you want to know more about deploying a laravel application to cloudways you can check the description i'll give the link for this video i have already done a video you can watch that and follow along after deploying your application you can see i have deployed this one let's go to this url and we can see this is a simple demo page and we'll be creating a staging for this one and we'll be making changes to that and we'll be seeing how to deploy it to the production so let's come here and go to staging management so the first step we have to do is create a staging application so we'll be making an exact replica of this current stage of our application and we can either choose a new server you can see when we click here you can either choose a new server or you can go with the same server so for now we are going to use the same server and you can click on continue wait for this to complete so the staging application is created now if you go to the applications you can see one with the tag staging this was our original application and this is the staging application so now we can go to this staging application and make all our changes to this one okay so when we are pushing our new features or new updates to the application we can do all the testing on a staging website and we can confirm everything is working perfectly and after all those testing we can push this to the production server so we can go to the staging management and we would be having the option to pull and to push okay so pull means we can copy the data from the live side to the staging side and push means we can copy the data from staging to the live and also when we are pushing the data from staging to a live site we have the option to whether or not to select the database or not so if we don't want to select the database we don't have to select this we can simply select this one and we can do incremental or override the files etc and we can also take a backup and then we can click on proceed so let's do that before that we can go to the staging site and make some changes uh, for now i'll be doing some color changes etc and we'll be pushing it to the live server so let's go to this url and we can see it is asking you a password and username okay so let's come here and access details and here we can see password protected okay so you can either turn this off or we can copy this username and password and give that here okay so after giving the username and password you can access the website okay so now you can see that both the live and the staging site is same and you can see the urls are different okay we'll be going to make changes to the staging site and later we'll be pushing it to the live site so for that we can go to the server and we can use the ssh and this is the ssh credentials and we can connect this to our ide and make changes and push it to the staging site i have opened our application on an ide this is php storm and we can connect this to our server so let's go to deploy settings here and uh, i have already added the server so i simply gave the ip username and password and that's it we can connect to the server and after that we can select the application here okay for that you can come here on applications and you can see we are having two applications and this is the live server and this is the staging one you can know that by going to the application section here and you can select any one application and here we can go to the application settings and here we can see the folder name see in the general section we can see the folder name we can also edit the folder name so for now we can keep it to this one and you can see the folder name that is rf etc so let's go back to our id so now we know that this is our staging and this is our live server so let's select the staging site and inside this we'll have to select public html okay so this is the structure used by cloudways okay and click on okay and that is it this is the url that we have to give here so let's copy that url so i just copied this url and going to paste that on the id we can paste it here so this is not required you can paste it in order that for your own comfort so come here and we have to select the deployment path also okay you can simply click on this one and come here and you have to simply select this one okay and click on okay you simply have to give a slash here that's it 
and then you can click on apply and okay that's it now we'll be making all these changes i have already changed some colors here you can see background dark i've made the background to dark and now we can upload this to the server okay so let's upload this to the server okay yes so the upload is completed now we can go to the staging site and refresh the page so this is our staging site go to this url let's close all others okay okay now you can see the color has changed so if you go to our applications go to the live application and check this one you can see the color is white okay background color is white i just simply changed the background color to black that's all now we'll be pushing all these changes to the live application so for that we can come to the staging application come here go to the staging and inside the staging management you can click on push so you are pushing to the live application so we can select web application files all right since we are not having database we are not going to do that and if you want to take it a backup you can click this one and click on proceed and it will seamlessly make all the changes to the live application without interrupting the users so you can see the deployment is complete and we can go to the live application so this is the live application let's refresh the page and the colors are changed okay so this is a very useful feature when we have to test all the changes and the feature updates that we have done before uploading it to the actual application so let's say we are having a website which has a lot of traffic and we are going to push a new update uh, something very important and it could break the application if something goes wrong so before pushing this to the live application we can make a staging application and do all the changes there then we can do all the testing there and later push the live application so staging is very useful and cloudways has made staging management much more easier you can simply do all this by clicking the buttons and that is very convenient if you're going to do all this your own it will be much difficult compared to what we did today so it will be much easier to use this staging management i personally find this much useful while doing all these updates to the live application so this is a great feature i will recommend all of you to try this one and if you like to use cloudways you can go to the link on the description and you can create your account you'll also be getting a discount while using the promo code code cc when you're signing up you have an option to add the promo code you can simply type code cc and you will get the discounts so hope you find this video useful if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos